What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm Carter Share, and today I am super excited because I'm gonna be finally building again. It's been a while since I've done a build video on my channel and as you guys know, I've built some crazy things. And in today's video, we're gonna be building something crazy to add to the list of the crazy things I've done here on my channel, and I am so excited. The idea that I have for today's video is based off of this Instagram post right here, where I dressed up as Willy Wonka, and I said, if I can, if this post gets 15,000 likes, then I will literally build Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. And so, well, that post got over 15,000 likes. You guys are awesome for following me on Instagram. So today I'm gonna be building a chocolate hot tub. I'm gonna work my way up and ultimately build a chocolate factory starting with a chocolate hot tub. And I'm not just gonna be filling it with water and chocolate powder. I'm gonna be filling it with 200 plus gallons of Hershey's chocolate syrup. And here is all of that Hershey's chocolate syrup in these boxes, more than 200 gallons. Each one of these boxes, you can open it up just to get an idea of how much chocolate syrup we have. Check it out, guys. This is a lot of syrup just in one of these, six per box, and we have an entire crate worth. These came off a truck. And guys, I've looked all over the internet and I have not seen anyone make a hot tub out of this heavy, thick chocolate syrup. Everyone else has done some kind of combination of water and like chocolate powder. We are gonna be doing it all with the Hershey syrup. But first, we're gonna need a hot tub. And in here, we have an inflatable hot tub, so let's open it up. Day one is coming to an end and this is what we came up with. We got a little bit of water in here. You can see it's starting to warm up. We have the water sucking up here, going to the pump. The pump is then putting it into this coil with it's got hot water because of the flame underneath. It's then going to the second coil, again with the flame underneath, and then back out all the way back to the hot tub where we have nice warm water coming out. So it's pretty good. Those little flames really aren't enough. So we ordered some really large propane heaters that we're gonna swap and try to beef everything up. And then I think we're gonna be pretty solid with water. Then we need to do a chocolate test and that's when things are gonna get really messy. So we'll see you guys on day number two. We're on day three. Yesterday we didn't make a whole lot of progress. Just Andrew picking everything up and bringing it up to here because we decided it's gonna be better at the pool. We ordered uh, a few hundred dollars uh, more worth of stuff and that is the burner. We are upping the size of everything. Should we light it and see what this thing looks like? Woo. Whoa, that's kind of... Oh. Why does it look like that? Yeah, this is insane. This is so awesome. Something kind of smells like burning paint. If everything goes well today, then our heating system will be working and we'll have a real hot tub full of hot water with our heating system. Which is, really, which is a really good step because then we should be able to move on to chocolate tomorrow. But that's still a big if. This heating system is not proven, but we are heating the water. It's starting to boil, putting those coils into there and then piping it through all of these, uh, all these pumps and plumbing. It's gonna be kind of crazy. It's been a few hours, it's getting late here on day three. We've removed the buckets completely and put the coils on there. We even stretched the coils to make some gaps and it's improved our efficiency tremendously. We're up to 113 degree water coming into this hot tub. So we're heating up a lot faster, but this whole thing is proving to be so much more difficult. And tomorrow, day four is our last and final day of the build and we haven't even opened the chocolate jugs yet. So we're getting a little worried. It is now day four and this is the last and final day and we haven't even touched the chocolate yet, but we felt confident. We were up late for the past three days working on our system. Today is the day we're doing chocolate and we're gonna be doing a small scale chocolate test with our heating coils, with the pump. We even put a sound dampening around there, which is awesome. And we are gonna be doing a chocolate test in here by putting all that chocolate into there and see if it will start to pump. If that works, then we're gonna feel confident that we can get well, it's kind of dirty water now. We're gonna get this dirty water out, fill it with chocolate, and we'll be taking a chocolate hot tub today. We need to, if uh, we're gonna be able to pull this thing off. We're going for it, guys. This is our first jug of Hershey's syrup. I think we need to take a sip of it and taste it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's so thick. Oh my God. Oh, look how, it's 
so sick. Oh, oh there it goes. Yeah, we got chocolate through the system. I mean, obviously, this chocolate is mixing with the water that's in the system. But by the time we put 200 gallons, the amount of water in the system is going to be negligible. But we literally have a chocolate hose. Oh, it's flooded. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> oh. That's a chocolate jet right there. Look at that. But here goes jug number two. Oh, man, the pump is getting bogged. I can hear it. Oh, the thickness it's honestly it's like a almost like a clay oh this one is extra thick david dobrik might have a an orange soda but we have a chocolate <laughs> water, a chocolate water syrup hose. water hose yo matt come check this out oh my gosh look at the hose it's literally a solid stream of chocolate what the heck chocolate. you want to take a sip <laughs> it's like a powerful stream it's like really just chocolate it's like willy wonka's yeah it's literally chocolate <laughs> Whoa. You want to dip your chip? You should dip your chip in it. <laughs> See if it tastes good. <laughs> it's like splattering all over. Look, I just got some on his face. I think I think it's gonna work. So just guys, imagine this bucket as big as this hot tub with people in it, and then we're gonna do last to leave the chocolate hot tub. Guys, it's gonna be insane because we're not doing water and powder. We're doing. Hershey's syrup. It's gonna be thicker than this. This is watered down. We're gonna go, it's gonna be so thick, it's gonna be like glue. That's chocolate. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's good. good. It's good. That's really good. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> it's all over your face. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Well, imagine that in the uh, the hot tub behind you. You're gonna fill that whole thing up with, with that? Yeah. It's gonna be insane. That's a dream come true. We are starting to get super thick now that the stream is much less of a garden hose and more just like basically pure chocolate. So it's gonna be interesting to see once we add the last of the chocolate for this small scale test. So we're basically running at 100% uh, chocolate syrup. If we add the heat, how much more is it gonna be able to flow as it gets warmer? Because the colder it is, the thicker it gets. Look at that stream though. It's perfect. <laughs> So Andrew's got his arm in there to mix it up. Let me see. Oh, that is insane. It is so cold down there right now. Yeah, it's like about low 60s right now. We're gonna turn the heating system on, see what happens when the chocolate heats up. I think it's gonna help out our motor quite a bit. That is. Oh, there we go. We're starting to Yeah. Is that hot chocolate now? Yep. We got Ryan walking out all proud with his laptop. That's the smell of chocolate we got some chocolate out here for you no you don't yeah you want to take a sip is it your okay not that that's oh my god i thought that was it I was like, Dude, that is... <laughs> no that's our dirty water you wash your chocolate hands we're going to drain that and it's going to be pure chocolate this is our small scale test over here oh my god it's like literally willy wonka <laughs> yo you're both covered in it i just realized yeah like, you should come take a sip out <laughs> of it i'm good man i'm yeah. saving my appetite for when we get in the get in the tub <laughs> that's right last to leave over in that guy it's gonna be probably the messiest video we've ever oh, attempted. Sure. I mean, it's gonna, you might stain the ground. We're gonna be smelling chocolate out here for years. You're never gonna wanna eat chocolate again after this video. <laughs> nope. Your whole body is gonna look just like this. Coated. <laughs> we might as well set up a slip and slide. Wait, is tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. I am not ready. <laughs> no! Get ready, Ryan. Two boxes is this many bottles of the Hershey syrup which fills this 20 gallon bucket. We're now going from a, no, uh, 10 gallon bucket. So we're going from the 10 gallon bucket to a 200 gallon hot tub, which has disgusting water because we've been washing our chocolate hands. We're gonna rinse this out, drain it, and then we're starting to fill with chocolate. Guys, I'm so happy that we're able to pull this thing off here on day four. Guys, we're at a monumental stage of the process where we can flip a switch. Go ahead, do it. Flip a switch. And we have a chocolate fountain to fill up our hot tub, guys. This is literally all chocolate. Look at that. Wow. Mm, tastes so good. 200 gallons of chocolate syrup starting with box number one. Each box has six jugs, and each of these weighs like eight pounds. Let's get started. Oh, look how thick and goopy that is. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be like swimming in a mud bath. That's probably about a gallon and a half. We gotta do 200 more. Oh. 
The chocolate syrup hot tub is on its way. Let's do a little test and see what the chocolate feels like. Oh, it's actually kind of warm right here. Oh, whoa, what the heck? It feels like a marshmallow or something. Moving your hands through, it feels like some kind of thick paint. Oh, my entire body is gonna be covered in this. A few hours later and our chocolate hot tub just reached 100 degrees, which is awesome. We haven't put all the chocolate in there yet, but it is boiling and bubbling. Well, we got the, the jets on. The hot tub actually has jets, but our cooling, our heating system is working, which is awesome. We got these heating coils with the flame going. This is where the heat goes and we have a whole circulation system. It's quite complicated. It took us like four days to figure out. But we are up and running. I haven't seen it yet. Can I dip a nugget? Dip it. Amazing. We did it, guys. I am now Willy Wonka because we have created a real-life chocolate factory using 100% chocolate syrup, guys. I am so excited for this video. This was an absolute mess, and we're just barely getting started. We are going to be moving on to last to leave this chocolate hot tub wins. So, guys, comment down below what you guys want to see, and stay tuned for our next video. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. You guys ready for the next video? Click right here or right here. Also, check out teamrar.com. We got some awesome stuff like this plushie, this backpack, shirts, hats, everything that you could ever want. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button right here, and I'll see you guys on that next vlog. Click right there or right here. Do something.